Hello everybody, this is the iFan channel here. So today is day four of the trip and uh, we're going to go around Warsaw and then during the night we're going to take the train all the way to Vienna, Austria. And tomorrow night, instead of sleeping in Austria because it is a bit more expensive, we're going to sleep in Bratislava, Slovakia. The reason why we sleep in Bratislava, Slovakia rather than Vienna, Austria is because in Austria it might cost $85 a night, whilst in Slovakia it might only cost $65 a night. But the train only from Vienna to Bratislava is only around $10 to $15, so uh, even with train it's still cheaper to sleep in Slovakia and Bratislava is only about an hour away from Vienna, so that's why we're going to sleep in Bratislava instead. And plus, we don't really go to Slovakia that much too, so I want to see what Slovakia looks like. So why not let's sleep in Bratislava and let's go. Now we're in Warsaw and uh, over here guys, the Warsaw building is currently the tallest building. And uh, as you can see here guys, the Palace of Science and Culture. It used to be the tallest building in Warsaw until like 2021 when the Warsaw building overtook the uh, Palace of Science and Culture. I don't know if the Warsaw building is really finished yet because there's still construction going on as recent as this month. So we're just going to go around the town square of Paul, Warsaw as we're in central Warsaw and then I think we might eat uh, some lunch now. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, we're currently eating lunch at this McDonald's. As you can see guys, this is the skyline of Warsaw, Poland and we paid around 25.3 zloty for this big meal, which is around $8. And um, it is quite cheap here compared to like uh, in uh, like uh, Germany, France or the US. So here it is guys, the skyline of zloty and I'll finish eating and I'll see you guys soon. So after eating lunch, we headed to the mall and uh, as you can see guys, over there is a Samsung uh, kiosk which includes the S22, S22 Ultra, S22 Plus though. It also includes the uh, Fold 3 and Flip 3 and also uh, you could find some cheaper ones such as the A53, A52S though. A23, A13 though, some of the cheaper phones, so it is kind of amazing to see a Samsung kiosk because in Boston I don't see a Samsung kiosk anywhere, so now let's just go around Warsaw. Okay guys, we just exited the mall and this is uh, Warsaw Centralna and uh, we're now heading towards the Palace of uh, Science and Culture. Why not guys? This was a building built in the 1950s at the time when Poland was a communist country which was a satellite state of the Soviet Union so why not we just get in here for a bit since this used to be the tallest building it is currently the second tallest building in Poland after this building, the Warsaw building took over just last year as the tallest building as you can see guys I just entered the museum and you could see some art over here and then uh, you could also see an antique car as well too, which is kind of insane. So we're just going to go around the museum and then probably we'll leave once we're finished with the museum. So they say the directions here, so we're just gonna go upstairs and then we're just going to look around to see what this museum even has though. It is the second tallest building in all of Poland, by the way. And I, since I don't really know Polish, you see, you can see some computers too. So, just like it says, it is a science museum. So there are a lot of computers and stuff like that. Soviet era computers and stuff. And even cold, so which is kind of crazy. So I'll see you guys then. At this museum, not only would you find like uh, Soviet era computers and uh, communist computers, but you would also find like uh, computers such as the Apple II and uh, the compact computers, which are actually American computers. As you can see guys, this is one of the Macintoshes, and uh, this is one of the compacts, and uh, as you can see guys, this is one of the computers designed in America. That's very cool. 
Okay, guys, we just exited the computer expedition and we're now going to look at this part, which includes uh, motorcycles, cars, and stuff like that. And uh, as you can see here, guys, this is the evolution of the bicycle. And this is one of the older bikes. And we're just going to look around motorcycles and stuff like that and um, cars and see what it is. It's going to be pretty fun, guys. And this is even one of the suits. So I don't know what it is for, but I'll see what it is for. Okay guys, in this collection you could see a uh, whole slow of motorcycles. You could also see cars as well too, and even uh, planes though, engines and stuff like that. You could see buses, trains, and uh, you could see a whole slow of stuff related to um, traveling industry and wheels and stuff like that. So here guys is the some of the first cars and uh, this is one of the street cars the trams and this is actually a gas pump I believe and uh, here are some bikes and uh, some of the older cars which is pretty cool though and, in, and even ships too so this museum is quite a cool museum in the middle of Warsaw so now we just left the museum and uh, fun facts about this, this was built during the 1950s as Stalin's gift for the uh, Polish people during uh, Communist Poland. It kind of looks like the Moscow State University and this museum and this building houses a museum, cinema, theater, library, sports club, you name it. And it even houses facilities for the Polish Academy of the Sciences, which is some fun facts about this extremely tall, the second tallest building only after this uh, Vassal building, which was built just like several years ago. Now we're currently in Castle Square right now in uh, Warsaw, Poland. We took the train all the way from um, the uh, Palace of Science and Culture all the way to halfway between the palace and uh, the castle square and we rode a bike from halfway to the castle square so here it is guys it looks absolutely amazing and uh, let's go to some museums and let's see some of the view here for a bit because there's one castle in Poland which was reconstructed 50 years ago after it was uh, destroyed by the Nazis during World War II though Okay guys, this is the palace and uh, fun fact, it used to be the official residence of the Masovian Dukes but then it was destroyed in 1944 by uh, the German army though. Afterwards it took 13 years between 1971 and 1984 to reconstruct this nice palace. So we're go going into the royal castle by uh, this entrance, I believe so, and then I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, what you would see here is the uh, night hall and uh, as you can see this is the planet Earth and uh, up there is uh, Copernicus who um, stated that the sun is in the center rather than the Earth changing uh, astronomy and uh, science forever and uh, over here guys is um, the uh, conference room as you can see so um, I'm going to show you a bit of the museum and uh, here it is in here. Okay guys, we're in the oldest room as uh, what the uh, audio guide said in the Warsaw Castle which is the old audience room. As you can see guys, this is where the throne is and uh, we're going to go around the castle until we're finished and I'll see you guys then. And here is a, the art gallery, supposedly. It is actually called the uh, Canaletto Room and uh, we're going to look at some art, why not? This, guys, is the chapel where the king and his court attended everyday religious ceremonies and was designed by uh, Domenico Merlini in the 1770s and it had been restored with many of its original elements. And since we're in room 18, we're going to um, go like this and then we're going to turn. And then uh, once I exit the castle, I'll see you guys then. 
Now we just finished touring the uh, Royal Castle of Warsaw, which is here, guys, and uh, we're going to look for other places to go around the Castle Square, which is pretty much amazing. And uh, it, and much of the castle was, and even the area was rebuilt uh, following World War II because of destruction by the Nazis. Okay, guys, so we're now walking around the old town of Warsaw and uh, we're just going to uh, look for stuff before we eat dinner maybe around 17 o'clock in this area because we do have to take the train to uh, Vienna around maybe uh, 1930 or something like that so I might uh, go to this museum I don't know what it is but I'll try to see if it is and I believe this is a, a chapel I don't know but I'll go in. I do believe that this uh, cathedral has been closed, so we do have to go out. And maybe I'll look for other places within the old town of uh, Warsaw. So why not? We are currently at the old town market square, which was rebuilt after World War II, after the Nazis destroyed the this um, market center and uh, this is the Museum of Warsaw so we're going to go to the Babakan which is the uh, uh, castle defense fortress which was also rebuilt in the 20th century as well just like this market square which was built during the was first built during the medieval era we just arrived guys we just arrived at the Babakan which is a defense fortress for the castle it was rebuilt in the mid 20th century after the end of world war ii because uh, hitler destroyed the, the um, fortress and even the market square and even the castle as a result of the polish uprising in 1944 though which made him definitely a war criminal because he destroyed like uh, cultural artifacts and stuff such as uh, the uh, Baba Kando. It is so amazing guys to see the old town. Now we're going to go somewhere else. Okay guys, before we go from the Baba Khan, I'll show you guys the view. As you can see guys, uh, this is what the Baba Khan looks like. And I'll try to get into the museum. If you were to go down here, it will show you guys uh, the rebuilding process and stuff like that. I believe so, I don't know. But let's go down. According to these pictures, guys, it uh, depicts uh, typical Polish life during the 19th and 20th centuries before World War II. And World War II basically killed a lot of Poles because uh, Hitler ordered a genocide against the Polish nation just like he ordered a genocide that killed 6 million Jewish people which is very insane and uh, makes him a de definite war criminal for sure we are now inside the Babakan and we do have to take the stairs which did make me tired when going up the stairs of the Berlin Cathedral and here it is guys the Babakan and uh, this was before World War II, um, after World War I though, and uh, yeah, the ceilings are slightly short, but uh, we can manage to get through it, and uh, here was the Barbican, just before World War II, and uh, when the Nazis invaded Poland and afterwards the uh, Babakan was destroyed by the Nazis and here it depicts the Babakan during World War II and uh, we're just going to go around the, the fortress and uh, here's some more pictures and I'll see you guys soon as you can see by this image uh, the old town square and the Babakan was in absolute ruins during World War II and um, during the communist administration of Poland in the 1950s they ended up trying to rebuild the Babakan which is 
a defense fortress and uh, as you can see guys it was built uh, during the mid 20th century by you guessed it the uh, Polish People's Republic which was a communist uh, country and uh, we'll go now so before heading off to dinner I'm going to show you guys the uh, palace of treasury ministers so here it is guys it is very big and uh, these raw buildings kind of remind me of Paris, sort of. But let's now get to dinner, why not? We are currently at Zloty Terrasi, the big mall in Warsaw, Poland, in Warsaw Centralna. And we're here eating at uh, Anna Sushi, which is a Japanese restaurant. We just ordered a Yaki Odon, a uh, Sakimaki. And we also bought a 7-up 200 milliliters and I'll show you guys the food once it gets here so here guys is the food for this evening we have the sushi the yaki udon and then the 7-up and now I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to go down to the train station to get to Austria to Vienna the city of classical music now before we go to the train station to get to Austria I'm gonna show you guys that this is the ice spot and this is the media market which is sort of like Saturn and sort of like the European equivalent of Best Buy so we're gonna go into the ma media market and uh, as you can see guys there are Samsung phones, Xiaomi, the iPhones, the Samsung Xiaomi, uh, Meizu, Oppo, Motorola, Vivo, Oppo Flip phones, feature phones, basic phones though. You could also find like um, some of the cheaper brands This is Maxcom which is I believe Huawei and Samsung uh, Xiaomi, Nokia, Sony, Vivo Alcatel, the Asus, Vivo, TCL, Realme, Huawei and stuff like that. Some of these brands you never ever see in the United States though because America has banned Huawei phones three or four years ago. And um, as you can see guys there are a lot of computers and headphones and stuff, cameras though. So it is sort of like the um, European version of Best Buy with all these appliances and stuff like that tablets, laptops, yes it is sort of like the European version even with TVs too makes it the European Best Buy even better because it has more phones than the Best Buy in America now we just left the media market and now we're going to enter Warsaw Centralna to board all the way to Austria so the train will run from around 19.30 to 7 o'clock in the morning which is going to be an 11 and a half hour ride that means that it's an overnight train a night jet which means that we'll sleep there for one night and then tomorrow night we'll go to Slovakia and enjoy so goodbye Warsaw it's kind of bad to like uh, say goodbye to city especially that it's so great of a city so I'll see you guys when I get into the train So now we're getting on the train from um, Warsaw to Vienna and then I'm gonna see you guys when I'm in the train Okay guys, so we just entered the train and uh, here are the two bunk beds I think I'm gonna be sleeping in the bottom because it's kind of harder to go to the top Plus um, there is also TV and uh, free snacks here this is for another person by the way I don't know who it is going to be or if there's going to be another person and in here guys is actually a shower toilet, a sink, shower it is kind of insane guys there's actually a shower and even a bed too kind of like uh, a hostel basically it is really good to be in this uh, sort of like uh, small hotel so see you guys um, once I finish taking a shower Okay guys, I just finished taking a shower and uh, I'm going to sleep because I'm really really tired so thank you guys for watching please give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and uh, that's it guys, I'm gonna see you guys later